This is Nate Adams with Energy Smart Home Performance, and I uh, want to walk you through the Habitat project uh, now that the ductwork is mostly in. So here's what we're looking at. Uh, this is put up for where the thermostat will go. That's pretty central in the house. You can see there's the front door and over here. And then it's going to have a central return coming through there, and then each bedroom has a return, one there and one over here purposely place someplace where it's not super likely they'll have furniture so hopefully they don't get blocked uh, and then the supply trunk we ended up running up into the attic so this is coming from the crawl space below and then up high you can see it pops up up here and there are two supplies that go over to the living room and one there and one there and we're gonna direct these up against the ceiling so the air goes up and over and mixes nicely so that hopefully nobody will ever feel the flow coming across them and then uh, gonna do ceiling diffusers here that go several different directions uh, but the beds gonna be for instance that way and we're not gonna send airflow that direction so hopefully we don't make anybody cold if there happens to be cool air blowing uh, so that's one of them and the other bedroom yay no drywall walk through the wall still the other bedroom comes out over here and then from this main trunk line uh, there will be another one punched over that's going to go into the bathroom uh, somewhere up in here I let them decide which one they want to do uh, and then the last thing to note is they've done a pretty nice job of sealing the joints. So this is mastic right here. It's also used as a tile glue. Uh, it's not quite as thick as I'd like, so the rule of thumb is thick as a nickel or nickel thick, and uh, that's not quite there. And there's one joint you can see right up in there that uh, definitely didn't get hit that we're going to need to try and figure out. This is where it gets tricky though because we're st uh, stuck with some wood along there so it's difficult to get these last couple of spots but those spots are uh, well that one in particular looks quite leaky that's a big gap so we'll get that adjusted when they come back but uh, certainly I'm happy with what I see thus far and uh, thanks to having this nice little attic space here it's a great place to run ductwork through the attic normally running ductwork through the attic is not the best idea in the world but in this case it's going to work just fine. It's actually really a convenient place to do it.